Hey, this is just a quick video, uh, hoping that it'll help somebody out. Um, this is for the JK uh, body mount kit from Genrite. Um, this kit doesn't come with any instructions. There are no instructions available online, and there's fuck all about it on the interweb. So, um, maybe this will help you out. It was a little confusing. Had to look at a lot of uh, pictures to figure this out, but. Um, it's not that complicated. This thing comes in 24 pieces for the JKU. So let's look at uh, what's going on. I've already uh, welded this up. Uh, so, you know, it's... Um, so you're going to find uh, three sets of, of brackets. And there are some, uh, there's some tabs with uh, little notches in. There are square notches, rectangular notches up here. And those are pretty easy to match up, right? Um, they just sit kind of outside, kind of square on the corners. Yeah, this world looks like shit, but that's, a, that's another day. Um, anyway, they just weld in here, right? No big deal. Then you have these other pieces that once this, you know, is on the vehicle, these have some little tiny, and you can see them there, little little tits right uh, on the ends they'll sit square right here and you weld those on I, uh, I did mine after the fact uh, after it was on the truck um, but all of these sit kind of square so that you can get a, a good uh, fillet weld in there um, the round side or the, the concave edge goes to the inside so Here's what they look like on the Jeep. You can kind of see where the that concave edge is. Um, and that's it. So these get welded on the same spots. And now let's look at the, uh, the other six pieces, which are templates. All the brackets uh, are etched. So you can tell, right, this is the middle. Um, they're etched for front and rear. And so are the templates. So, these guys, these long ones, are for the front. But these are the templates. There's six of these for some reason. I guess left and right, but you'd think they'd be the same on each side. Um, so this is a template for the rear. Okay. And these holes just line up with holes on the frame. So I guess if you had the, the body completely off and you needed a way to line this stuff up, this is how you would do it. Okay. There's one for the front, which is this one with the big dog leg and the middle. Let me show you how those work. I'm just trying to give you a quick and dirty idea here. This is not intended to be a quality video, just an informative one. So this hole, these stock brackets are still on, but you see this hole on the frame, right, lines up. If you line this up and clamp it, right, it won't quite line up because the, the existing weld is blocking it. Right, and you just center it on the frame, line it up with the hole, and uh, Bob's your uncle, right? And I did check these on the other side. They're very accurate. They work very well. This is the one for the front. See, so again, if the existing bracket wasn't in the way, I could line up these holes on the frame and get it in there. Actually, just put this line up, right? Okay. And in the rear, it just it just lines up on the one hole, right? Okay. So there you have it. You got three templates for each side. Although they're not marked right and left, I don't think it matters. Um, but um, you can use those as a guide. What I did is I just took all the, the mount bolts out and, you know, used the subframe, the tub, jacked that up to get some clearance and just cut these off and then do them one at a time. Then I lower it back into place so I get the right height. Then I just line everything up. Uh, where the uh, where the old one was um, one thing that 
was helpful, uh, you know, I had to figure it out, but the big washers on here, these, uh, these things have a little retainer. The big main center bolt has a little retainer on the top, a little clip, and um, it won't thread all the way out. You have to stick your fingers in there, just pull down hard on that, um, that big washer while you're uh, turning it out. Last thing is on these fronts, they have a one leg that's longer than the other, so there is a left and right on here. Um, you'll notice here, there's an angle on this. The, the long leg goes to the rear. So this is gonna be the passenger side and the driver's side's the opposite. So uh, I hope that helps somebody um, figure this kit out. And um, if you have questions, just leave them in the comments below and uh, save your shitty comments about my welding for somebody else. I'm not a welder and I don't give a shit. So thanks.